933. Welcome back to CW Iowa Live. Lou and Jackie here. Good morning. Being joined by a very special person, Sergeant uh, Nate Ludwig is in studio with us because there is something going on uh, that is very special. Of course, uh, you had a chance to go and uh, partake and be part of the Vietnam Memorial mm -hmm. yesterday yep. down near the Capitol building. But there's something else going on this Friday. I want to let you know about the Peace Officer Memorial. And uh, Sergeant Ludwig, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? You bet. Every year before the National Police Officer Memorial Week, we have our very own state Peace Officer Memorial down at the Memorial Grounds, just down from the Capitol, and that takes place this Friday at uh, 10 a.m. So if you don't have anything going on, and cross your fingers that we have some good weather, we ask anybody to come out for it. Absolutely. I, the, the two dates last year correlated with one another. I remember you had your ceremony yeah. first, and then yep. you moved up the hill to the Vietnam right. uh, ceremony. But a, a very uh, emotional time uh, a, a couple years ago because of the officers that we had. Right, and, and sometimes this is like reliving the whole thing over again for the families. And it is a sad day, but this year there's six names going on the wall. There are. Um, and everybody thinks, well, did six police officers die last year? Actually, there was only one. Okay. And we have one from clear back in 1893, a wow. railroad agent that was killed really? in the line of duty. So we get these submission forms uh, over the course of a year, and they can go way back just because people have done their research or these genealogy, some families, and they find out that I had a police officer that was a relative, and then he contacted the police department, and they find out that a long time ago they were killed in the line of duty. So there is a process. Um, but there are six names going on this year. We want to continue to honor those uh, that have done their duty for Correct. us. Correct, because it is, it's the ultimate sacrifice. The police officers died in the line of duty, and it's, it's something similar to like the Vietnam Memorial. Their name is engraved in the wall, so it mm -hmm. just gives those families a little closure and a little respect that we can pay to those officers and have their name on the wall. Absolutely. So what's going to be all involved with the ceremony? Uh, the governor will be there. Um, actually, Senator Grassley is coming this year. Oh, he is. Um, Des Moines PD will have their mounted patrol. They'll have their honor guard. We'll have honor our honor guard, um, we'll have uh, our 21 gun salute, um, taps, uh, amazing grace, bagpipes. It's quite the, um, definitely the, the show if you've never been there. And it, mm -hmm. It's about 45 minutes and uh, we'll have the Young Patriots Club, we'll sing a couple songs, so um, it's a good time, we just hope for good weather. Now what does it mean to you to have a, something, a ceremony like this, honoring those that we've lost? Well I think, like I said, it is some closure and it, and it definitely pays respect to those people that gave the ultimate sacrifice and that were killed in, in the line of duty. And there's 186 total names that, was my next question. Okay. that are on the wall ever since dating back, I think 1860 or 1870 is the actual uh, oldest recorded uh, line of officer or duty death. So, um, and it takes a lot of planning to get all this together because you got a lot of agencies coming together. Yes, say, you do. Uh, do we know? How they, don't speed over by the Capitol no, on no, Friday. Not right there. <laughs> a lot no. of people that are going to be watching. But, but right. how many different agencies do you, do you think are involved in this? Oh, there's a lot because a lot of people will send representatives from every agency, and there's mm -hmm. six different agencies that will be involved uh, that had an officer die in their um, um, over jurisdiction. In their jurisdiction. Thank you, Boo. Um, so there'll be a lot of people there. Um, I can't say how many agencies total. Will. As I say, it is one of the most impressive ceremonies you can ever attend. Uh, I've been there a couple of times, and it, it really it takes your breath away uh, by the power that uh, of the people that are there and what you're r recognizing and remembering. Uh, it's an impressive thing to be a part of. Yep, yep. And it's uh, like I said, hope for good weather because if it's not, then it'll be held inside the Capitol in the rotunda which is still nice, but it just doesn't get the same effect of the right. bagpipes and the 21-gun salute, and, you know, you, you can can't have horses in the can't you? No, you can't. No. Oh, okay. I'd say go ahead and do it. I'd say do it. You know, they, the governor's they, there. Just ask her. She'll say, the okay. right, right. They're, they're out of session at the state house. <laughs> right. right. there, you know. there. Bring some horses up the front steps. Hand out some air flight. But there's something else that is going to be going on there that we uh, want to make sure that you're aware of. And, uh, folks, you had a chance to meet somebody that was very special to us, uh, Charlie Black. Uh, you mm -hmm. had a chance to meet him a couple of times on this program. Uh, we lost him uh, not that long ago, um, but Charlie did something uh, before he passed that uh, you are also going to be remembering. Yeah, he was a uh, definitely a true character. In Tell the everybody State about Charlie. Yeah, he was uh, he was a sergeant on the State Patrol he, from 1965 to 2001, I believe, so he was a trooper for a long, long time. He actually wrote a book before he retired called uh, Stories of uh, a State Trooper. Yep. He recounted every one of them. Real life stories. Uh, yeah. Real life stories that actually happened, but then before he uh, passed, he had the idea of donating money to our honor guard because those uniforms are not cheap mm -hmm. um, and for retirees and he said basically every one of us state troopers we're going to need them someday because we'll all die and you want a nice funeral 
from the Honor Guard. He says, we're all going to use them. So he created something called the Honor Guard Fund, and that money is strictly dedicated to the Honor Guard and their um, gear that they wear for funerals. Wow. Uh, see, how cool is that? Yep. He was so, you know, you know, mm -hmm. no forethought in yep. for everything that he did. Yep. Always had a vision and constantly thinking forward. Yep. Amazing. So you're going to be able to uh, present those uh, that uh, on, on Friday as well? Yep. We'll have a little uh, short ceremony inside our uh, headquarters about 9 a.m. that morning. And his wife will be there and a member of the uh, Retirees Association and basically just kind of dedicate and talk about what he what his vision was. Yeah, a great man. You bet. Absolutely. But a great thing that's going to be happening this Friday again once you go through the details. One yep. Time. 10 a.m. down at the uh, Peace Officer Memorial, which is just located between our headquarters and uh, the state capitol. This Friday, get there early, so there's kind of limited parking, but we'll have some areas to park around the Capitol, and uh, goes from 10 to about 11. There you go. Wonderful. Well, Good thank you for joining us you this bet. morning. Thanks and for having me. Hopefully, we can get as many people out there as possible. If you've never been, it is a power thing, powerful thing to be a part of. So we hope everyone can make it out. And they thank you for your hey, service. Thanks, Thanks for having me.